happy Sunday folks, or probably Monday morning when you're watching this. I know I said I wasn't going to do a video today, but I thought I'd do a quick walk and talk to fill you in with what's been going on all week, because most of the videos I've been doing a little bit more artistique, with much more uh, focus on the work and less focus on the waffle, which uh, is a good thing I think. The videos come out pretty good this week, I'm sure. So, we reflected earlier on on the timber worktops or bar tops that we're making out of this timber that we picked up from Chesterfield. Having finished this piece yesterday, I've decided that that's the way we're going to go. We're going to leave the bark on, maybe hit it with a buffer wheel just to sort of take any rough edges off, and we will put finish on the lot. Uh, the one that we took down to a wedge almost on yonder end, which you can see down there, well, it's only literally the first 500 mil which we had to take that much off. All the rest of it, as you can see, is actually thicker than this board already. So, not all of the boards were of uniform thickness, you might not know. So, we've got a few more of those to sort out. Then we have this pile of timber. This is all sat, waiting to be turned into tables. We've got 10 pieces of this size. They're about six foot long. So that is gonna be a project after we've finished the bar tops. We'll move on to that. At the moment, I'm transferring the vacant gesture, which is destined for keg, from one tank via the Keg Kingdom Brew Pump 3000, which at is not introducing any air whatsoever. It's, it's a perfect pump for transferring. So that's going into that tank, mainly to get it off the sediment bed, because if I don't get round to kegging it straight away, then it's sat in there. I put a blanket of CO2 in there as well. So hopefully that will just sit and condition. It'll think it's in a cask as far as we're concerned, and it'll get brighter and brighter and brighter. So when we do come to keg it, shouldn't have any clarity issues whatsoever. Here's the remainder of the bar tops up this end. So we've got seven pieces left to work with over here. That one's destined for bar top, for sure. Uh, and then we'll go next door and have a look at what the crack is there. So we come into the stock room below the pub and we've made some developments. We've moved a lot of stuff across into here to get it out of the brewery so we can actually use the brewery workshop at the bottom and keep the brewery brewery somewhat hygienic because it's starting to look a bit like Steptoe's yard. We managed to get one of the stillages in here. So this was, this was sold as a five over five, but as you can see, it comfortably sits six over six it's quite impressive, even though we've just jet washed it and put it together. I think that looks the bomb, wouldn't you admit? Looks really good. And then we've got another stillage as well to go on the yonder side, which is a 4 over 4 You can see it's a little bit smaller. The problem is, though, it only leaves us 700mm down the centre to walk once this is in that position over here. And that means that we can't use the cask hoist that we got at a bargain basement price. All that stillage, all those auto tilts, all cost £250, including this. So we're not going to be able to fit this in to help lift the casks, which means that putting casks on the top bay is now going to become a two-man job. So we are probably going to sell this and see if we can reclaim some money back. If I can get 250 quid for that alone, then that's paid for all my stillages. That would be a nice return, very nice return. So I've got to get this seller looking something like before Robbie and Tom descend on the brewery next Friday to help me install the lines. And upstairs in the unit, in the unit, in the pub, we've not made much more of an advance 
the bar's still hanging on for dear life. It's a little crooked, but it will be coming out relatively soon. We've brought some of the chilling equipment, some fridges, the cask wash, that's all up here. Kind of just waiting to be cleaned and put into situ. So, not much has gone on up here, upstairs at the moment. We've got CCTV to go in. We've got cables over here. Light fixtures, everything else. So there's quite a task ahead of us still. We're by no means out of the woods yet. In fact, we've barely even scratched the surface, let's be honest. All the kitchen, again, nothing in here yet. Let's just go back down to the cellar. And then, of course, we've got the chilli unit to install down here. So this whole piece of kit's got to come back off the wall. I also need another heat dump for the Cornelius chillers. I really am pleased with this reconditioned one from EWL. It looks fantastic. Hello, fell over the python. So I'm going to wrap it up folks, just a quick update to let you know what's going on. Tomorrow we're going to be obviously doing some more woodworking, maybe cleaning out a tank, maybe ripping the bar out, who knows. Uh, but tomorrow is the start of another week. Hope you're going to join me for that. We'll see you then. <laughs>